Greetings, greetings, greetings. Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Hello, hello, hello. Well, we are all the way, actually not all the way, but mid-August and summer is upon us. I don't know where you are in life, but here in California, it's scorching hot. Today, um, I went to the dentist early in the morning, about nine o'clock, I was already at the dentist's office and it was already past 80 degrees. And I know that there are places in the country that are in turmoil with hurricanes, with uh, winds and tornadoes and rain. So it just, it's mind boggling that one place can be serene and hot and another place wet and stormy. But isn't that what life is all about? It seems no matter where we are, there is this constant getting used to. There is no unity. And yet, when we think about it, this is unity. This is life. It just uh, reminds me of um, who we are, like personalities. If we cannot be constantly um, like calm, serene, zen. We're human. We've got emotions, up, down, um, angry, sad, joyful, happy, whatever. So with that, I hope your day is a perfect harmony that no matter what happens, you can find your balance and you can bring yourself to the point of calm and relaxation before you go up the roller coaster again. So today we're going to be talking about something similar and which reminds me of what is it that we do in life? How do we manifest things? And here's my question to you. Um, how do you manifest? When you think about it, do you plan it or do you sit and visualize and truly believe in the law of attraction and manifestation? Because when we think back, one of the things that I do with my clients is I ask them, when we start working together, I say, what is it that you want? Truly, what is it that you want? What is it that you want to accomplish? The reason that you have come here for hypnotherapy is to shift something. And funny, just two days ago, I was being interviewed and they said, would you please even tell us what is hypnosis? I mean, what is it that you do? What is a clinical hypno hypnotherapist? And what is the difference between a hypnotist? And I was wondering if you, as my audience, would like to hear this. So I'm going to give the short version for those of you who haven't heard it. Hi, how are you? Um, thank you for being here. Here's the short version. I like to explain it this way because nowadays everyone is doing Zoom. Every one of us is on the computer. Every single person love the, oh, <laughs> and look who is here. My favorite, favorite coach, mentor, someone that I admire. Forbes Riley's in the house. Hi, Forbes. Don't you love my entire background? Ah, and for those of you who uh, want to know more about this, let me know. I'm going to give you a place for you to go so you can learn how to pitch, how to have a beautiful background and everything. So back to hypnosis. Ah, I'm here to hypnotize you. Not by a clog, but only my voice. You see one of the tricks about hypnosis is how 
we can or how I shift my regular speaking voice to my hypnotic voice so that I can calm you into a dip deeper and deeper state of relaxation. So how hypnosis happens is because I truly believe hypnosis is nothing but self-hypnosis. And when someone goes to a hypnotherapist to have someone help them shift their mindset and reset with a heart set, that's what I call it, is because we are bypassing our conscious level, which is by looking, listening, and learning. It's just like a video. And by panning it out, the video camera only looks, listens, and learns. And what it does, it captures, right? As it looks at that takes the audio, it captures. So when it captures, just like a computer, when you type everything and you open a file, you place it in there. And that file gets what? Stored. It gets stored somewhere, which is the motherboard, that little chip. That little chip, depending on how many megabytes or how big of a file your computer has, this little chip is called our subconscious mind. Our subconscious mind stores all that information that you looked, listened, and learned from the day that you were born until this very moment. This moment, right? So if I were to ask you, do you recall um, your best friend from kindergarten or elementary school? Perhaps a toy you loved? Did you happen to hold a blankie or something like that until you were about six or seven years old? Something that reminds you of home, cooking, smell, grandparents? You see, what happens is right now, instantly, your mind did a rewind. In the same way when we search files, your subconscious mind has been storing all that information. And the moment I asked it, the moment you even thought about it, it did a rewind. It was doing a search to do a, a recall and bring that file up to you. And by doing so, it becomes real. It becomes at this very moment. So it does a recall and it also stores the information. And the last thing your subconscious mind does is regulates your entire bodily function. You don't even think about it. your heartbeat, your mind, your pancreas, your liver, none of that until there is something off or wrong. And the same thing goes with our habits and behaviors. All the things that you have captured and learned and stored within you, either knowingly or by repetition, by seeing it, hearing it, and doing it. You see, when we brush our teeth, we don't give it a second thought except standing in front of the mirror. And sometimes we don't even look in the mirror and we just brush our teeth, right? And some people do it right off fast and others take the two minutes to truly brush the teeth from the gum and do it properly. Now, it's not about which is correct, which is not, except what we have learned and what we continue to do. Now, the reason you come to a hypnotherapist is because a habit or a behavior that you have incorporated, either knowingly or unknowingly, it's no longer working for you. So let's give an example. Smokers. We were not born smokers. People who cannot sleep. It's not that they could never sleep, that there is something going on, and now it's a affecting their sleep pattern. Uh, for those who gain weight, and especially during COVID, so many of my clients nowadays have been coming here because of all the weight they have gained. And it's not so much because of what they eat, really. It's all that emotional eating, not because of its hunger. So that pit, that hole, it's being filled by feel-good 
eating, feel good drinking. So many of her starting to drink. So anything, any pattern, any habit or a behavior that no longer is beneficial to you or enhances who you are and want to be is what we work. Now, the difference between a cognitive therapy and hypnosis is because we delve into the subconscious mind where everything is stored and we tap into it and we shift it much more profoundly from the basic pattern, from the beginning of the causation, not the symptoms. So if there is a... Um, a, scra uh, a scab or something and instead of putting a band-aid we peel the band-aid we go deep into it we open it up we get into the root cause and shift it and bring it to surface kiss it love it and lovingly make that shift so the clinical hypnotherapist as i am what i do as as a clinical hypnotherapist for 20 years of practicing this art and science, I can say that for someone who has gone through my own transformation from healing and overcoming abusive relationship, from healing my ovarian cysts, from going through panic and anxiety, even stop smoking, maintaining my weight, and so many things, just like what I was going to share with you, guess what? I'm going to be having a root canal on Thursday. And when they wanted to make an appointment, they said it's going to be a half, uh, an hour and a half. And I said, no, mine will be done less than an hour. She said, why? And I said, because I do not use anesthesia in my body. So when I do root canals, which I have done more than five, I truly hypnotize myself in the chair which is self-hypnosis, and that's what I teach you. I teach all my clients how to do self-hypnosis for you to utilize this incredible science and technique and tools to do it on your own. Now, I can just sit there in five minutes, take myself into a deep state of hypnosis so that when they begin the work, the dental work. I feel absolutely no pain. I hear it. I know he's drilling. I know he's doing the water pick. I hear everything. I feel it on my gum and my tooth. And for them to drill it all the way, to take the nerve out. And yet, I am calm as can be. That is called mind over matter, and yet utilizing self-hypnosis, numbing my gums, numbing the nerve in itself to be able to do that. So some may say, that's easy. I've done all kinds of things with no anesthesia, by all means. And you know, there are hypnotists that do on stage and take you up on stage and you laugh and everything the difference is as a clinical hypnotherapist we do more of healing work and for you to learn self-hypnosis to overcome pain to overcome certain habits and behaviors that you can utilize and shift it on your own and the ones who come to me is because sometimes just like me that I have my own coach my own mentor my own trainers in life we always need someone to hold our hand or help us through that so manifesting is knowing what it is that you want first and foremost Yesterday, I got a call and this guy, he's in Philadelphia and says, I want to become more confident and I want to make a bunch of money. And I said, that's awesome. I can help you. I can help you first and foremost, become more uh, confident. But first, we need to work on your self-esteem. After asking him a few questions, 
I realize he's lacking self-esteem, which is valuing himself. Because he has the confidence to do the work, he owns two nail salons. Listen to this. He owns two nail salons. He is 34 years old and he wants to make billion, millions of money. Apparently, I like this word billion. Let's go for that. Let's manifest something in the bees. Well, it even rhymes with my last name. Billions of Bubari. Okay. I'm going to put that in my mind. You know, when you want something and you feel it and you want it bad enough, what is it that they say? Be aware of your wishes because wishes do come true. Like I manifested Forbes in my life and that became a reality. And, and so can you. So back to that. You know what he said? I want to make millions of dollars. And my question to him was, have you first, have you made your first million? Well, not yet. I said, have you made your first half a million? Well, no. And I said, okay, then let's work on why is it that you do not believe you can be a millionaire? But he said, and he said, but I want to be a millionaire. That's awesome. It's not what we want. It's what we believe ourselves to be. So believing is where we start manifesting. And my question to you is, have you written down exactly what it is that you deserve to have? What is it that you believe? Who do you believe you are? And what is it that you want to manifest in your life? Do you believe you deserve it? And have you created the space for you to step into it? That is the difference. So as he signed up and he says, you know what? I grew up in a household with seven kids and I constantly had to fight to have my own bed, my own food, my own everything because I was kid number six. So that is a story that he has to fight for everything. And he thought he did not deserve it. But now he wants to have this incredible life, even though he is successful by having two nail salons and people working for him. He says, I spend more. And I said, how do you spend it? He says, I like to gamble. So it's not that he does not make it. He makes it and he he, some people may say it's not a waste, but I call it giving it to the gambling uh, casinos is a waste. So it's not, he doesn't know how to hold it, how to save it, how to make it better. And that is why he signed up and he said, if there is something, which I call it, I help you evoke what was. So let us go and look at the patterns the platform where you came with this belief I don't deserve. And by boosting your self-esteem, knowing that you are deserving, we come to embrace who you are, the reality, so that you can evolve to what you want. Now, here's my question to you. What is it that you are ready to manifest? What story have you been holding on to that no longer serves you? And here, hi, Sedajan, how are you? So I want to show you something. This reminds me of months ago, I found this beautiful golden fruit. 
It's called golden berries. And you know what's the best thing about golden berries? Mmm. Not only it's juicy, not only it's delicious, the seeds inside, it's got so many uh, antioxidants and it is so sweet and tasty to my palate that it reminds me when I look at it, it just makes me happy. And you can find it at any Trader Joe's or Whole Foods. They might have it, but I always find it at Trader Joe's. Golden berries are just beautiful, sunny, sunny, sunny golden berries. Now, instead of something sweet, something from a bag, or something else that I may eat that is going to be doughy and gluey into my stomach, I make a choice. I put a snack of golden berries next to me. And once in a while, I just pick one. Even the color of yellow makes me happy, just like that smiley happy. And it's so good to my palate. It's so nourishing and it makes me happy. And my mind says, thank you for feeding me. My stomach gets something. And the entire thing is a mindset reset of, I wanted something, I had something. And I am not denying myself from eating something sweet or good or delicious. In life, we have choices. Choices about what we do to be successful. Choices in what we do and what we put in our body. And choices of who our friends are and the things we hear and what we say. So I ask you, the way you speak to yourself, about yourself, and what you put in your body, is it lovingly? Is it enhancing who you are and your life? With that, I want you to drink cheers to yourself and say, from this day forward, every day in every way, I choose to step up my game. I also accept and appreciate myself far more deeply than ever before because I do matter. In about, by the, actually first week in September, I'm going to have a surprise. Uh, I am excited because I have a whole program coming up, a lot of giveaways. And if you want to know more about it, if you want to work with me in a small group set, uh, setting instead of doing a one-on-one, -on -one, by all means, let me know because it's about time. It's about time for you to say yes to yourself and say yes to a healthier, better life. With that, Think about this. Who am I and what is it that I want? Because I deserve it and I am ready to step up my game. Affirmations work. They truly do. The manifestation comes from what you believe yourself. Truly deserving what you want. So let us come together and manifest what you want. This is Lisa, and I thank you for being here and being a part of Heal Talk Tuesdays. Until next week, I bid you goodbye and thank you. God bless you, and may the universal light surround you. Bye-bye. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, 
click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.